forming up for the final time as 628 Signal Troop. This was a relatively low-key ceremony in the rain to mark the return of an historic name for this unit. And the NATO commander in charge of the work done by these men and women came from Germany to be with them. I count on you and especially on your leadership. The Alliance trusts us, the members trust our professionalism and we won't disappoint them. While they are based at Blandford in Dorset, NATO operations regularly take these soldiers away from home. In the last couple of years, that's included Romania, Lithuania and also Afghanistan. There, under NATO command, it meant for some not just being in Kabul, but across the country, including Helmand and Kandahar. It's still ongoing and quite big, so stuff happening all the time. And It was the first time I'd been there as part of a unit like this, yeah, definitely. It was... Um, bit of an experience as well, like I said, first time as part of this unit, um, but yeah, I enjoyed it, loved it. Working with different multi-nations and things, knowing how they deal with things, it was brilliant. This was a personal end of an era for the officer commanding 628 Signal Troop, handing over command at the end of his allotted tenure, just as the unit starts a new era of its own. Because with the new command comes the return of an old name for this unit. The step up from troop to squadron, a recognition of the high operational tempo and work done by its men and women. The name change is to bring them in line with the other um, NATO subunits within the um, uh, Signal Battalion, um, to give them parity in terms of rank and command structure and so on and so forth. So, uh, partly a formality, we haven't done a great deal to change their establishment just yet. The significant change will be when they uh, move to a purpose-built barracks in Stafford, uh, which is due to happen in 2023 at the moment. And for the man who's commanded the unit for the last two years, it is a badge of honour to see the renaming happen as he leaves. I think that's hugely significant. That really recognises the outputs and the good work that's taken place, certainly over the past two years and beyond, to acknowledge that actually the operational footprint and tempo, the readiness tasks have all provided something that is just a bit more than what can be considered a troop. When you look back, what will stand out most for your time? I think certainly deploying safely my team to Afghanistan. It, as I said, it was the biggest contingent of Royal Signals personnel to that theatre since combat operations finished in December 14. And actually doing some really good things. One highlight in particular there was actually establishing the NATO deployable CIS contingency plans for the Resolute Support Mission for the first time. And that's a real high profile thing. It was proven to work, certainly when Kunduz experienced heavy fighting and a German CIS system was uh, destroyed. We then had our contingency assets called out and successfully re-established that situational awareness for the ground commanders. There is likely to be another deployment to Afghanistan next year for 280 Signal Squadron, as well as supporting other NATO operations and exercises. The name may have changed, the job has not. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.